was the greatest memory you had playing baseball was when you hit that home run against the Dodgers. That was one of my greatest memories in Cardinals baseball. How about it, Jack? Well, you know, same, same for me. I mean, I played all those years in San Francisco, and, um, you know, we never competed. We were in the Western Division with the Dodgers, and the history there, the rivalry. Dodgers were winning the championships. We were coming in fifth place every year. Our organization was telling us we we're going to come in fifth place, and we're rebuilding three or four or five years down the road. It was very frustrating to come from the minor leagues where you won and then get to the big leagues, which you is the ultimate goal, and you get there and kind of tell you that you're going to lose. So when I, I got traded to the Cardinals, and the first words, uh, first phone call I got was from Lou Sussman with Anheuser Busch, so let's go win a championship. I had never heard those words before, and it just felt good to finally get back after the Cardinals had won the World Series in '82, knowing that I'm going to be on the team in '85 with some guys that I've watched over the years and the history of the organization. San Francisco Giants, Los Angeles Dodgers, again, two teams with a you know, tremendous amount of history and tradition. Um, but uh, like, like some of the guys were saying, it was tough playing in Candlestick Park, you know, a stadium that was a football stadium that held. 75,000 people and maybe only having 3,000, 15,000 people there, uh, windy, cold in the summertime, tough to kind of, you know, you want to you want to say, hey, Mays played here and they all put up with it, um, but it sure was nice to come here and play on a team that had, it was nice and warm in the summertime, you could wear short sleeves and uh, get a good sweat going out there and guys were getting dirty and, and having fun and, and uh, this, again, the speed of the game, I was just very lucky, fortunate timing-wise to come to a team with that kind of defense, that kind of speed, that kind of pitching, ground ball pitchers, Andrew Hart, John Tudor, Hart sinker ball pitchers, guys that were gamers, forced Danny Cox would knock guys off the plate, hit them, protect their teammates, and uh, I really appreciate it. It was really a lot of fun for me, and uh, I only played here for three years, and I was hurt in 86, but 85, 87 went to the World Series, and uh, uh, again, just a, a, a pleasure to, to be next to Jack Buck every day. Pleasure to be next to Red Shandies and Whitey Herzog. Um, it's just an honor, you know, honor to be with ownership like Anheuser Busch. And, and again, the fans to go to a ballpark every day and it'd be full of fans that expect expect you to go out there and win, want you to go out there and win. Uh, cheer for the other team if they make a good play just because you guys are great fans and understand the game of baseball It's just a special feeling it wasn't just for me But all of us up here like Jay said all the 50 plus guys that still live in st. Louis uh, Cardinals uh, take care of their alumni guys We think we we do a good job taking care of them and helping them out and and it's a good family It is Cardinal Nation uh, That's why we're all here. That's why you guys are here. That's why we're on this caravan. There's four other caravans going on right now at the same time in different places with different alumni guys and, and, and players on the Cardinals right now. So it's really just a, a special time and uh, uh, St. Louis is, is, is just the greatest baseball town uh, that I've seen as an opposing player and also playing here. Just great.